Hi, so I came out here today to talk about the internal physician and then I wound up talking about gold because this stunning, stunning um, sunset behind me. And um, and so now I'm going to talk about the, in, the internal physician. And our internal physician, I was talking about holistic healing last week. And um, the internal physician is, again, not intrinsic to holistic healing. It's intrinsic to how we were created. God created man um, as a self-healing organism and that is brought down by Rambam. I've mentioned this before I believe and it's important that we understand again that you know I might have before talked about this as a holistic healing concept but it's not. It's just the way God created us. It's just something that as holistic healers we're very much in touch with or people who are living holistically are in touch with. Our body has an intrinsic doctor, a healer inside of us that informs us all the time how to be healthy. So whether it's because we're not feeling well and it'll inform us which foods, what to drink, whether to rest or to exercise, to go to a doctor, to seek healing, whatever it is, if we're listening, that's what's informing us. That's what's helping us heal. Um, and before we get sick on a day-to-day -day basis, what time do we feel like going to sleep at night? What time feels natural for us to wake up in the morning? What are we going to eat? And all of these things are informed to us intuitively by this internal physician who is always looking out for our health. Isn't that an incredible <laughs> revelation? So that's part of our intuition. Those are part of our intuitive skills is that we are naturally and spontaneously and continuously informed by this internal physician, which is a direct connection to God. It's like God whispering in your ear, this is what's good for you. This is what's healthy for you. This is what's going to build health, you know, or if it's something that you want to do and it's not healthy for you, no, no, the no that you're getting, don't do that because that's going to make you feel yucky. And when we listen and we tune in, we live a healthier life. And that is why I call it holistic living, intuitive living, because it's about a whole uh, lifestyle. It's our lifestyle. And so some of us are not connected with our internal physicians either. We've just totally turned down the volume on that voice because it's told us things that, that, that have conflicted with what we feel we can or want or are able to do. like. If your body's telling you to rest and you've got X amount of things to do in your day and you're like, I can't rest, I can't rest, guess what? Yes, you can. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice to listen to your intuition and it's a choice to avoid listening to your intuition. So people are like, well, how do you do it? It's, um, you know, people stop me and they hear about, you know, how I'm living and they see my lifestyle and they're like, it's so amazing to me that you're able to rely on your intuition, that you're able to hear it. And I'm like, it's just a matter of practice. We're all able to live intuitively. It's just a matter of practice. And the more we listen to our intuitive side, the louder that voice gets, the clearer the signs are, yes and no. And we're just doing what we're meant to do and what's best for us. So imagine if you listened, like I, I should have started it with this. Imagine if there was a voice out there telling you instructions every moment of every day informing you what to wear, how to dress, you know, for cold, for hot, what decisions to make, um, what to have for breakfast, what activities to do, uh, what your intentions are for the day, um, when to sleep, when to rest, you know, decisions that come up, whether they're small or big, what to do with them. If you listen to that voice that informs you and you knew 100% that that voice was informing you to your highest best good even if at some points it doesn't seem that way wouldn't you listen well guess what you have that voice and that's how I should have started this video but you have that voice it's inside of you you have that instruction booklet how to live my healthiest best life it's inside of you so I invite you to start listening to your intuition and to increase your intuitive skills and increase that voice Just raise the volume on that voice and um, I want to just give you an example. Sometimes our intuitions tell us to do something that feels against rationality or against what seems right in the moment. And I'm telling you, the more you listen, the more you will realize, oh my gosh, it was right. For instance, 
It could be the simplest thing. It could be I'm leaving the house and I think to myself, take um, an umbrella. And I'm like, there's no rain in the forecast. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm not even gonna be out long. And let's say I don't take that umbrella or I do take that umbrella and it starts raining. Like we know things, we are informed by things when it's God who we're listening to, that little voice in our head that will tell us things that we couldn't know about ahead of time. And that's happened to me. The rain seems like such a banal example. It's happened to me on so many incredible levels that it's been so, oh my gosh, like things that you really wouldn't think about or things that you would think are anti like against what would be best for you and you wind up listening to it and you realize this is amazing this is exactly what I needed my famous example I just finished writing a blog about how to say yes to more things that um, relax me that are good for me that that vitalize me and someone suggested that we go away to yeah, to the Dead Sea and I said the weirdest thing I just wrote the blog to say yes of course I want to say yes but I can't I'm saying no and I didn't understand and for weeks I checked in with myself up until the date that we were supposed to have gone can I can I no it was always a no and it turns out that family members of mine were sick that would have made me have to cancel my plans and I wouldn't have been able to go and I wouldn't have known that so if I had said yes against my intuition I would have wound up losing out on the money put in on the vacation and just I went with the no because I had learned by that point to just trust it so that is today's uh, vlog I would love to hear what you think about this and um, whether or not you hear that voice whether or not you allow that gut feeling to come up and I'm telling you the more you listen the more you'll hear it and the more incredibly easy and magical your life will be all right, sending tons of love and a great day here from Israel. Bye.